Hello, everybody. This is Max Fierro from DexFXMarkets.com. Today is the 4th of March, 2021. Um, I'm doing this video real quick because I wanted to address uh, a problem that we had seen within the, the network, the world of trading, or what have you, a misconception, if you will, um, about placing working orders and um, the, the price uh, the market pricing value when you're placing that working order and what it means. I wanted to give you a little bit more demonstration of exactly what it is. So let's just get started. Okay, so we're back. In the world of our signals, if we, if we jump over to um, our Discord unit here, and we look at the um, the Dex Delta signals. Now, the Dex Delta signals, when they come out, they give us an amount of information, and this amount of information is limited to the time, the sell, the, the direction, the the asset, the expiry time. Uh, this process. This information, if just manually read, if you took this over to Nadex, you could follow this information and do the following steps. You could follow the process into uh, the Forex. You would, in fact, come in, click Forex. You would find the closest pair to that within the directional value. So if it was a buy, you'd find the, the pair that it called it or lower. If it was a sell, it would be the pair or higher. Um, and then you would simply click on that direction. The left side being red here would be the sell or the bid side, and the right side for the buy would be the buy side or offer side, okay? So when you're clicking on these manually, the prices that you see here have a spread in between, of course, but the directional value of these is that when you're trading with a sell, and you click on it, you see the 3450 here. This is actually considerable to what you're, you, you're desiring to win, for your profit margin, 3450, okay? Um, when, it's, when it's on the right-hand side, it's what your value is of what you're risking, right? So because this is sort of a uh, right-in-the-middle trade that's happening right now, as you can kind of see, uh, 8368 is, is sort of at the monies, right? Um, so if you clicked on this side, you would make 51.75 if you want. If you clicked on this side, you'd make 55. That's sort of the common sense values behind it, right? So when we say that we have a money buying strategy, that when we have our signal, put it in for 45 on the sell side or 55 on the buy side, we still are in desirement of a $45 profit margin gross. Right, so our gross profit margin that we want to get from either side would equal $45. After fees, our net profit margin would be $43 because there's if you win, there's a $2 reduction. But if you lose, your risk would go from $55 to $56 because there's a $1 inclusion into that process when you're first getting into the trade. Okay, so that information is important because the working order when it comes it only follows and and if you're if you're putting it in if i click on one of these let's just say i click on a cell okay and i'm looking at this particular pair and i say okay if if it was at 45 it would have already bought right now if i had it in already right if i had it in already i'd be at 50 something dollars so i want to put this working order but not at price here if i just go 45 I want you to see what happens. It's sitting at 52, 53 right in that area. Watch what happens. I place the order. Now, when I did so, it placed the Audi JPY 8363. I didn't do anything special. I didn't put in that I wanted it for $56. It just did that, right? The $45 working order that I was putting in because I was, I, I, wanted it at limit, right? Good to close, not a market order. It was set at a limit order. Then I put it in for 45, right? You can kind of see that that happens. It even works, it even does it when I decide that I want to go for a buy. Let's just say that um, I'm at, uh, let's see, this particular price here. Okay. And I, let's see, wait, now let's do it, it here. Okay, because remember, this is what I want to risk 
right? And I say that I want to do it at 55. That's going to take that one. I think that's going to take that one out, isn't it? 68, okay. Let's just say that I want to do this at 55. Remember our 55, 45, but it's set at 38 already. So if I place it there, watch what happens. Remember, I put it in for $55, one contract at 55, but it gave me a better price. This isn't something that you did differently other than just place the price in at 45. That's what we had said to do it for, right? So when that happens, this price value goes, I can't give it to you for 45 because the price is not there. Now, in this particular case, I can't force what happened the other day. The other day, our system and some traders had gone to put a $45 working order on a particular pair. And when they did, it immediately bought, okay, as it put it on, it immediately tried to buy and put a working order on for 45, but instead it seen it as because the market was at a higher, was, was really dropping into the zone there, it was really at the money. And when they, the exact moment that the system or you or whomever it was put it on, it's seen it as a 55 or, or $52 working order and it didn't honor it because the market was moving too fast. We've all been there before where we've clicked on it right? We've clicked on the process and it, and it didn't go through. Like when you see a live, when you're doing live manual trading, you click on it and it doesn't go through. It goes right to working orders. Like, wait a minute, it was sitting right at $45. Why didn't it buy? Well, the market value has a tendency to shoot past uh, the process and the working orders can't get filled fast enough at that particular point. So some get filled and some don't. In demo, when you're trading in demo, the likelihood of this happening, of it shooting past and not going back, is pretty rare. But how would you handle that? Let's say if I got into a trade and I wanted to put a working, let's say if I put a working order on and I say, um, let's do um, this. We'll do 45 in there, remember, because we're on that side. We'll do 45 and we'll place an order. Okay, now the order has been placed. It hasn't been set into a position, but it's been placed at 83.73. So if it gets to that price, it'll buy it at 45. There's, I don't think there's been too many times where we've missed those trades when the working order has been placed. But how you would normally do it if you got in and it didn't get picked up, like say if that was a good trade, and like, wait a minute, it didn't get picked up and you wanted to match the current price, you would have to match the current price quickly and put it in there, or you could go for market price and click it. Now this is a manual solution that you have to do as you're manually trading. So I'll explain to you what happened the other day on the Great Britain Pound JPY and the Great Britain Pound USD. The price came over for 45, just like you said it, right? And you clicked the button and it went straight to working orders as $55 for a sell. Remember, that should have been 45. Now, our Zedon system for you live traders and you demo traders over there, our Zedon system does exactly what you just did manually. It doesn't do anything else. It may, in, in when the, the signal comes over, be filtered via the asset or the direct or the just the asset and so it'll or the time or the level that it's been given but it's never adjusting the price other than what you have in it this is a nadex process just like i showed you with these particular two trades is that the nadex process is adjusted to the current market price as long as it's above or more into profit than the price that you put in now that has some problems and indentations sometimes because what usually happens, some or not usually, what sometimes happens is that the price is moving so fast that they can't fill that order, so they place the order at 53 instead of 45. Got me? And so you would have to come in and adjust the order to meet the current price to be able to do that. Well, in an automated system, how do we, how do we cover that? How do we design that? Our system, we didn't really understand that that was actually happening to that level where trades wouldn't be bought in uh, and if they were missed. Now, we can put stuff in to cover that, but right now, there's nothing in the world that does that. We can't readjust the pricing value. We could 
create rules and, and guidances in the system to actually continue to look at that trade. Did it get bought or didn't get bought? But right now, once the trade gets placed into working order, that's where the, the, the system ends of manipulating the, the trade. Okay, so I just wanted you all to know that that process is a very important process. Oops, <laughs> I think I, I took over somebody's thing here. Um, that's, that process is a very important process uh, for us to look at. But just keep in mind that we don't, the, the Zedon does not adjust uh, or decide to go higher or lower. That's com a complete Nadex thing. All right, I'm Max Farrell. This is DexFXMarkets.com. I hope this finds you well. And as always, trade well.